Hollywood last night. I want you to see them all. We're going for Steve Duffy this day. Y'all get up for Steve. Hi, hey, everyone. Uh, we got any churchgoers in the house here tonight? Yeah. All right, calm down. You're going to have it. Chill out. Let's go. Um, I like to read the scriptures. Uh, this one character in particular uh, really fascinates me. A guy by the name of Judas Iscariot. Now this guy betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. Now I can understand that doing that in today's day and age when we got all this cool stuff. But they didn't have shit back then. <laughs> what the fuck was he going to spend his money on? I just picture him walking through the market like all downtrodden. Uh, I guess give me um, 60 of those stale ass loaves of bread. <laughs> 60! Yep, gotta spend this money somehow that I got for betraying the Son of God. <laughs> Fucking idiot that I am. Um, so I come from Ireland, everyone. We like to fight against each other. So I'd like to thank you, the American public, for go really going out of your way in the last couple of years for making me feel at home. I really appreciate it. Um, being an outsider, I get to see a lot of stuff that's different. Um, for instance, 4th of July. When I lived in New York, my buddy was like, Steve, you gotta go to the hot dog eating contest, the Coney Island hot dog eating contest. So I said, sure. Um, I went. A lot of testosterone, a lot of flex, and the whole time my friend's like, Bitch, you don't have this in Ireland, Steve, huh? It's like, you know, don't have a hot dog eating contest. Uh, but it started, and around 20 seconds in, um, it dawned on me. It was all these guys watching all these other guys trying to put as many wieners down their throat as quickly as possible. Now I'm no uh, Freudian psychoanalyst, but there's some undertones going on here, a lot. I love my friend, he's like, yeah, yeah boy, get that dog. Get that cock! I mean, dog! I said dog. I don't know what you heard, Steve. I said dog. Um, but I'm all for it. It's like pride for uh, repressed homosexuals. Keep it going, I said. Um, when I first moved from Ireland, uh, I thought, cool, I'll become a serial killer. Then I realized uh, there's no way I could deal with the fame. No way. Then I thought, what about a high school shooter? But I am terrible at writing lists. <laughs> and these kids are prodigious minds when it comes to writing lists. The most beautiful, detailed list you'll ever see. But they can't tell, it's a pity, they can't tell their fellow students about their list writing skills. For obvious reasons. Because it's to kill them. But um, if they could, these kids would be the most popular kid in school. Because when I was 15, me and my buddies, none of us, we were completely incapable of writing a five item shopping list. It would go like this, uh, one, eggs, two, bread, three, fuck this. So if I had a uh, prospective high school shooter in my class, I would love him. I'd be like, buddy, I got a big weekend coming up. Need to put it in order. Can you help me out? Yes, I got you. I'll be around later. Cool. So, listen, I'm going to solve the high school shooting problem that this nation faces right now. We create a new subject. List writing. And then you'll watch all the kids who had no friends become as popular as the fucking football star. Now listen, that's your bomb, but uh... <coughs> Uh, but listen, I, you know, I'm a comedian, I'm brave, I don't want to brag, but I just solved your um, high school shooting issue. I wouldn't call myself a hero, that's for you guys to call me. Uh, like I said, I'm a comedian, I'm brave. Comedians are so brave. Um, I don't know if you saw, but all the top comedians the other week came out in favor of the biggest podcast host in the world who can make them all millionaires because they are so brave. That's why tonight, I would like to come out in favor of anything Joe Rogan says or does, because I am also brave. Also, I am available to be interviewed for his 11 million weekly listeners. 
I'll just leave it up here. Thank you. Hey.